What's up guys, it's Raph in my son's room. I'm doing this video uh, because I'm going to install the Axum transmitter for the Wisa Monaco audio system that I did a video of right there. Check it out. Um, so I have the speakers installed in his room that I'm going to connect to his Xbox One X. And we just got the uh, transmitter. I'm going to show you how to plug it in, go through the setup process on the phone, on your app and then uh, get some sound in here that's wireless. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So without further ado, let's get this installed. All right, guys, I'll show you where the speakers are. So we have one speaker there, and all these are is hooked up to power cord. That's it, power cord, power cord for the center, power cord for the right speaker, power cord for the, the right surround, power cord for the, the left surround over here, and then finally the subwoof that's wireless is right down below. All right, guys, so here is his Xbox One X. And then this is going to be the XM Link wireless home theater USB transmitter. Now, if you don't have an LG NanoCell or OLED TV from last year or this year and still want to take advantage of, of a WISA audio wireless system, you can use your Xbox. Any Xbox console with this transmitter will allow you to, to watch all your streaming apps, all your Blu-ray movies, 4K movies, and video games, all an amazing wireless surround. So let's get this installed and check it out. So this is the XM link. This is where the box it comes in. It's going to include the transmitter, the USB cable, and the setup guide, and then the mobile uh, link app for Google or Android. Pretty simple, guys. Just link it up to your Xbox One, Windows, PC, Mac, or any WISA ready device with a USB output, and you can enjoy up to 7.1 surround sound in wireless audio. So it's very easy to install, guys. Very simple, just power cords. It gives you the ideal placement for all your speakers your right speaker, center, left, subwoofer in the corner, your two side surrounds, and your two rear surrounds. So let's get this unboxed here. There is no black pin on this guy, but you know there's a black pin. All right, so we open this guy up. This is the about link description of what's all it does and stuff. And this is the mobile app you want to download to control uh, the volume of each speaker, the crossover of each uh, speaker as well, and some other features also. EQ as well. Setup guide, pretty easy. Just simple uh, USB cord to the back of the transmitter and the back of the TV or Xbox. This is what we'll be doing, Xbox One, right to the back. Of course, you want to make sure you have the latest firmware update for your devices. So it gives us a, a USB cable, micro USB cable here. This guy. Okay, take this out. So it's a nice little puck here, USB input right there. And if for some reason you need to reset it, there's a little button here, a little thumb or indent here, a little pimple, whatever it is, right? Let's click it in and you can reset it. And this is your LED light right here. All right, let's plug it into the Xbox and get her going. All right, guys, I'm going to set the transmitter right over here. And then with the USB cord, plug it into the back of the console. Okay. We got the transmitter hooked up here, USB to the back of the Xbox. And then we open up the XM app. And the first thing that pops up is you're gonna set up your link. So select where you wanna use your link, Xbox One. Yeah. So we're setting up link. All right, set up your link. Okay, we did that, we plugged it in. Oh, so all the speakers are plugged in. USB to the back of the transmitter, USB to the back of the Xbox. 
next. Check in for updates. I was checking for speakers now. Okay, so we found out why there wasn't any speakers assigned to it because you have to repair all the speakers. So you go in the back of the speaker, you hold this associate button down until you hear a beep. Okay, there's the beep. So we got to do that on all five other speakers. Back over here. Okay, and one more. Well, two more. We'll give you a subwoofer too. Okay, and then the subwoofer. the sub under and then you hold the button here okay I take it that light glowing was the beep all right so now now we go back to our phone and we go speakers we want to search for speakers We'll do one more search so it finds all of them. Searching for speakers. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. So we have surround, surround. All right. So at the bottom it says it has the center and subwoofer good. We just have to assign the other four speakers. So we'll just, we'll just do one of them here. So we'll press that one. All right, so that's the left speaker. Front left, perfect. And then we'll just go to the other speakers. Select, listen. Okay, right here, so it's front right. Speaker. Okay, that's over there. Do side right. And then the last one should be the surround left. All right, so all of our speakers are assigned. And we'll hit save. Boom. So there's our volume there. All right, guys, so inside the app, you can actually adjust the uh, volume for each speaker. That's the speaker volume. And you can also adjust the equalizer for each speaker as well. So it's got bass management, so you can set the crossover of the subwoofer. And that's pretty much it, guys. So right now, guys, we're playing some Gears of War. And uh, it sounds fantastic, guys. I'm getting discrete volume of each speaker. Left, center, right. If I turn the, turn the camera, I got the, the side the side right, the side left, and then your subwoofer right there. That sounds great, guys. I clearly hear every sound effect accurately in, in each speaker. Problemo. All right, guys, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So you guys can get this set up for your windows. Hold on. Let me turn the volume down. 
There we go. You guys can get this set up through Windows 10, Xbox, any Xbox, uh, or your LG Nano Cell or OLED TV from last year and this year. Um, sounds great, guys. Clean audio, good bass, easy to install, simple. Just a power cord to each speaker, so you have more flexibility for placement of these speakers anywhere in the room. Definitely check it out, guys. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, it was pretty simple to hook it up to the Xbox. Awesome, guys. All right, you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See you guys. And stay safe. Peace out.